How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in this video I'm going to be diving into a software called Flipmine. Um, whether you, you may or may not have heard of it before, basically what it does is it flips um, items off of eBay and it kind of calculates your profit and stuff and you can then flip those items on Amazon. They're also implementing a Walmart feature which I'll kind of briefly cover um, but it's still in beta and stuff so it's not super ironed out yet but I've really been liking the eBay to Amazon side of things um, especially if you're a beginner and don't have a ton of money to spend. This is a great way to dip your toes in online arbitrage for you to eventually get into a more volume OA model with Walmart and that kind of stuff. Um, I really think that books from eBay are a great place to start with online arbitrage. So we're going to go ahead and show you how I would source books using this software. Um, real quick, if you guys want to check out, um, down below there's going to be a link to my free Discord. It's completely free. Um, there's over 3,000 people in there. Um, you can ask questions. Uh, we have occasional Zoom calls. There's ungating, chatter, all kinds of good stuff. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, that's down below. Let's jump into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do, um, we're op we just opened up Flipmine here. We've got no filters in. Um, at this point, you're going to want to type in some filters that work for you. Uh, I've got a good filter set that I'll go ahead and share with you guys here. Um, it's called Textbooks, but I'll kind of run through why I do what I do here. Um, so basically, I want the FBA to FBM price to be less than $20 or the difference um, because you don't want them to be the FBA price to be massively inflated because the customer might not pay a huge difference. I'm looking for used books, so I filtered there. For books, I'm looking for an ROI bigger than 50%. It's super easy to find books with that kind of ROI. Generally, I look for closer to 100%, um, but if the volume is really good, I'll go down to 50%. And then I personally look for books with a less than 500,000 sales rank. I know some people would go up to a million or even two million, um, but for online arbitrage flips where you're spending a decent amount of money, I'd rather kind of return that capital faster or at least know that it's going to return during textbook season because a lot of this stuff that you're going to be buying is going to be textbooks. Um, and you can also actually subcategory down into textbooks if you want to. I generally do just because I like to spend more money at once on each book. If you want to buy cheaper books, that's definitely there for you. Um, but there's also some cool features with the prices it actually pulls. Um, so you can see here we've got the um, condition. You can type in whatever condition you want. Um, the uh, value type is very cool. It takes the moving average rather than um, the that exact moment. That kind of allows you to get rid of a lot of um, outliers. So let's say the book has been selling for $10 for quite a while. All of a sudden it's selling for a uh, hundred. You don't want that to be pulled up on here because um, that's just going to be junk, right? Um, and you can also actually do the same with um, Amazon BSR, so see your sales rank. Um, so instead of just pulling a momentary sales rank, it'll actually pull um, the moving average, which is really nice. Um, so you know that that product is actually selling. Um, but yeah, with those set up, um, if you guys want to go ahead and check out Flipmine, uh, there's going to be a free trial down below real quick. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into just a couple of books here. I, I, I haven't scripted any of this, so, so let's see what we can find here. Um, so you can see over here the I've got it sorted by date listed um, generally some of this stuff will go out of stock pretty quick because it's good deals um, so you can see here this book already went out of stock over here it might be a little bit difficult to find books to flip right now given that it is September 1st schools are still coming into session and stuff so textbooks are probably at peak value right now um, so we'll see what we can find but maybe there's not gonna be a whole lot right now um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this one right here this one we would be buying for 29 um, we're looking for um, probably a double double the uh, price on this one. So if you want to do a 50% ROI, you're going to want to look for generally double the price you're spending it or buying it for. Um, and then if you want to 100% ROI, you're going to want to look for triple the price. That's just kind of like a good rule of thumb. But you can always use um, FBA calculators and stuff like that to figure it out for sure. Um, so this one on Amazon right now is going for 29 So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this one. There's no textbook pattern either, so it's not likely to increase in value. Or in value. Um, this one we're looking at $19 here. Um, on Amazon we can rent it for $19, so that's a good sign that the rental price is the same price. Um, looks like the price has actually gone down significantly lately, um, so we're going to keep going here. Let's see here. We got an acceptable copy, so you may want to avoid this. You could read the description and stuff. Um, let's see what they say. So it could have damage. Um, it has underlining possibly. So if, it, if this is a workbook, um, this looks like it might be a workbook. Um, you might want to avoid this and it's also um, only selling for $5. I'm not quite sure why that one got pulled up. Um, but we're just going to keep on chugging along here. Let's check this one. This one sold out. Um, so this one was going for $40. Um, and let's see, just for fun, see if it was um, a good find. So it looks like it's actually almost out of stock on um, Amazon, they're having troubles uh, 
keep it in stock or the keep is just broken something something weird's going on there um let's keep going here we've got this one for 670 um you can rent it for 12 so that's a good sign you can buy it for four dollars so that's not great um yeah we're gonna keep on going here um so let's go ahead and check this one out eight dollars um looks like it's going for um possibly and right there so this could be something interesting um so this one just recently tanked in value um, but there's no reason that it would have tanked other than someone just really desperately wanted to sell this book um, so you could actually get on this listing um, i'd imagine that this price recovers just because the sales rank hasn't changed and the number of sellers hasn't really changed so this price will probably recover um, so we would be able to sell it for um, so this is going to be 15 dollars plus the four dollar shipping typically um, so you'd be able to sell it for um what's that about twenty dollars so twenty bucks um buying for eight so it's actually not that profitable so those filters were pulling up a decent amount of junk there so i went ahead and edited this to lowest offer and 30 day moving average just to try to find some new stuff here um so with these softwares it's all about tweaking your filters right same with tactical arbitrage and all those other softwares it's all about making sure you have the right filters on um so i went ahead and tweaked the filters there and i found a couple that are interesting i'm going to check this one here real quick where this one's going for 33 um looks like the used offer could be going for 70 but it might be selling new for 35 um, so yeah, it looks like Amazon's on that one, um, but I did find these that are fairly interesting. This one is going for $50, um, and then on Amazon, it looks like it recently majorly spiked, um, but there's currently only three used offers on this one. I'd imagine that this one does this pretty much every summer. Um, so you can see last summer, or this summer, it went to 110, this summer it went to 150, this summer it went to about 200, and then um, this most recent summer it went to over over $220, which is crazy. Um, so maybe you could get this in time to merchant fulfill it at that $90 price point it's at right now, um, and you'd still be making a decent profit on that one. Um, so we could go ahead and run this $90. If you buy it for $50, you're going to ship this one one pound 58 or 1.58 pound book. Um, that'll probably run you about five bucks. So you'd be making 20 bucks on that. Nothing crazy. Um, but you could also consider buying it and holding it. Um, and then next textbook season, it could sell for, let's just call it $150. Um, then you could be making some pretty serious profit on this one. Um, this is something I would consider buying personally, um, just as a nice investment, because it looks like it always increases in value way up there, um, which would be a nice um, kind of buy and hold there. This one was going for 50. I found it was literally just below this one right there. Um, so we could see this one. This one's a little bit different. It's not super, super valuable. It's going for $90 um, um, in new condition. Right now it's going over that in used condition. Um, so at this point, you basically you could be you'd be able to sell this right at ninety dollars because this black line is your merchant fulfilled offers, right? Um, so you're gonna be able to sell for at least ten dollars more than that. It looks like it's going for eighty. So I bet you could sell this at eighty nine dollars basically. So if you sold this for eighty nine dollars FBA, um, you'd be making eighteen dollars on fifty dollars spend. Not that fifty percent ROI we're looking for, but it is um, pretty much a guaranteed flip with this sales rank here. Um, and this looks like last summer they had trouble keeping it in stock. You Used. they went down to seven offers and then currently right now we're at eight used offers um, so there's some good opportunity there as well so like I said it is currently textbook season so it is more difficult to find textbooks right now um, more difficult than normal I generally find a lot more textbooks using the software in off season um, just makes sense supply and demand type of thing um, but I did want to real quick show off this new Walmart feature that they have um, so you, they're actually doing the same thing it's similar um, to tactical arbitrage if you guys are familiar where it's just a Walmart to Amazon sort search um, but the way Flipmine works is actually kind of like live database based. Um, so it's going to be able to find deals that are um, much more current than tactical arbitrage. Um, so this is it's something pretty interesting to look at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up some filters real quick and then I can walk you guys through those. So I went ahead and threw in some filters here. I can real quick walk through that. Sales rank less than 150,000. That's gonna be generally good enough to establish a, a little bit of volume um, in pretty much any of the categories that I like to source from. Um, I removed count, pack of, PK, um, 2X, and 3X, because those are good common ways that listings like to describe it being a multi-pack. Um, I did ROIs between 35 and then below 150, because above that, um, for most scanning softwares, it's just going to be a bunch of outliers. Um, and then profit greater than $3. And then categories is just all the categories I like to source from. This will be different for you, depending on where you like to source from. Um, so I went inferred condition, um, and then buy box, 
and then 30 day moving average is what we're looking at personally um, and then I use the 60 day moving average for the best seller rank um, so from here we um, I would generally I would advise just doing a lot of scanning these photos making sure it's the right thing before you actually go ahead and click through like you can see um, this is like a plant which I'm sure would be a nightmare to ship to Amazon um, this is two cameras that's one um, this looks like it could be the same thing we can go ahead and check this one out here um, so we're looking at Walmart it's the 8 inch model um, this is going for $5 um, this is going for $13.50. Let's check the Keepa out. So it's selling pretty slow and it looks like someone's actually selling it for $6.99 free shipping. We're going to go ahead and move on here. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can find anything great here. Um, one really cool feature I like about Flipmine is they have this remove feature where you can actually remove all the gated options. So like just like that with the click of a button there's no more gated items here that I, um, it kind of as long as you have your Amazon seller account open up in another tab it knows whether or not you're gated in that category which I think is really cool. Um, so we can go ahead and check this one out. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if clean canteen would be um, kind of an IP complaint issue. Yeah, so right there my IP alert Chrome extension warned me that um, This brand files IP complaints. Um, if you don't have IP alert um, It's an awesome tool for doing online arbitrage. That's gonna be a, there's gonna be a link down below for that It's gonna be a coupon for you guys, um, but let's see if we can find one good product um, I honestly haven't done a lot of digging into this um, Because it's a pretty new feature. Um, this one looks like it's probably account mismatch. Yeah, um, but I haven't I haven't found anything I like this came out very recently so I'm I'm exploring it on camera with you guys right now um, so let's see if we can find something here so I did find this here this is out of stock um, but on Walmart it's a nice opportunity where you can just press this get in stock alert and then actually get a email when this pro when these products come back into stock uh, because this one looks like it's pretty limited so if it came back into stock you'd be able to sell it um, for about forty dollars it looks like so that'd be a nice little come up there um, so there might be some work left to do on Walmart. I won't waste you guys' time here, um, but there's the options there. It's in beta still, uh, so I'm sure they'll be working on those, um, getting this up and running pretty quick. Um, let me actually, this one piqued my interest actually. Um, see if I can find one good lead just to show you guys that this software does actually work. Um, looks like we might have found a winner here. Um, this is $6, um, and then over here it's going for... Uh, 17 FBA yeah it looks like about 17 FBA um, so this was six um, so it's not a major winner but nonetheless we do have profit it is possible to pull profit out of here the ROI on this one's actually pretty good um, almost a 50% return on investment here because you can get sales tax exempt from Walmart um, the margins not fantastic obviously but um, there's you, you can pull some winners out of here it's nice to know um, but yeah there's there's Walmart I, I personally still prefer the eBay method myself but um, they're adding Walmart so there's um, really increasing the value of this tool for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of Flipmine. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check the software out, it's, there's going to be a link down below. Like I said, it's going to be a free trial for you guys. If you guys could hit subscribe, hopefully I've helped out your business in this video. If you could help mine out and hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those below. Um, but until next time, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.